regain your fitness post-COVID. Now that the pandemic and its restrictions are coming to a slow end, gyms are opening back up. And for someone like me, who is vaccinated and have been waiting for the gyms to reopen, I invite you to join me to experience what it's like getting back into the gym post-COVID or even after a remission of time from the gym. Personally, I choose to stay fit by becoming fitter at different exercises that I enjoy. Lately, it's been calisthenics and bodyweight exercises, perfecting my yoga instruction, and more. Though what rings true to my heart is going to a physical gym. I prefer going to a place to keep me accountable. I honestly enjoy the accompanying routine of getting out of the house. Showing up helps me to stay consistent and helps to make me feel good in my skin. Heck, I preach for that, because seeing how much I've grown in confidence in the gym has transcribed to other areas of my life where I need to pull together my confidence. And to be honest, I like to look good going to the gym because it helps instill that confidence. It's not conceited. In fact, it's actually a good thing because self-improvement should come with self-appreciation. To provide a bit of background on my relationship to fitness, I am a certified personal trainer and group fitness instructor. So my intentions for going back to the gym is to get my desired physique back. I actually do not prefer the way I currently look, I love my body, but knowing that exercise has an ability to manipulate a physique through training techniques like hypertrophy, I consistently train for first health reasons and then followed by a wellness and physique reason. Anyways, with the gyms reopening post-COVID, I am back at the gym with a plan to regain my strength and overall fitness. Okay, so I made it to the gym and I'm about to say it, but I think I'm chickening out on making this video. Why? Because this is my first time filming at a public gym and something about that just makes me very nervous. So, um, yeah. Getting comfortable, feeling uncomfortable is the theme for this year. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Thank you. I did it. I made it inside of the gym. <laughs> I have a triathlon that I am currently committed to, so my strength training routine cannot be as strenuous as I normally would train. So I figured taking this opportunity to share my gym workouts, which anyone who is in good health may do when getting back to the gym after being away for some time. The whole idea behind starting this YouTube channel was because I wish I had a friend or someone to tell me the things I know now. I hope my workouts may help inspire your own workouts. Anyways, in today's workout, this is what I'll be doing. Let's go! Be sure to wipe down any equipment before and after use for everyone's safety. Here is the full workout on the screen if you wish to screenshot it and use it for your own workout when you get back into the gym. Please continue to watch for demonstration and instructions. Of course, with every workout, it is always a good idea to warm up. It is a great way to prevent injury and it helps prepare the body for more strenuous activity. For the warm up, we've got a tri set of the following exercises. Five burpees. Starting from a plank position, you're going to tuck the knees and explosively jump with the hands up high. Land softly on your toes and come back down to a plank position to repeat the move five times with control and to the best of your abilities. The second exercise in this set is 20 jumping jacks. Stretch your arms out and over your head. Jump back and repeat. The third exercise in this set is 10 lightweight overhead alternating lunges. Step forward with one leg and slowly lower your body until your front knee is bent at least 90 degrees while your rear knee is just off the floor. Keep your torso up right the entire time. Pause, then push off your initiating foot off the floor and return to the starting position as quickly as you can. So to recap, for this warm up you are going to do 3 full sets of 5 burpees followed by 20 jumping jacks and 10 lightweight overhead alternating lunges, resting for a minute in between each set. Now that you are all warmed up, we are going to move on to the main set of this workout. The first exercise is yet another tri set of the following exercises. The first exercise in this set is 8 to 10 barbell squats. 
Stand with the feet hip or shoulder width apart. Place the barbell just above the shoulders on the meaty part of the shoulders. Step back a few steps and bend the knees and lower into a squat. Contract the glutes and legs while stabilizing your body with a strong torso. The second exercise in this set is 8 to 10 body weight sumo squats. Stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. With your hands clasped together at the chest, push your hips back and squat down, keeping your back straight and your upper body lifted. The third exercise in this set is 10 to 20 kneeling band squats. Start from a kneeling position with knees about shoulder width apart and feet straight behind your knees. While activating the glutes, sit back slowly with control towards your heels. Imagine sitting back into a chair. Contract your glute muscles to push up and return to the upright position. After each set, I like to keep the blood flowing by incorporating a few dynamic leg swings during my minute rests in between each complete set. So to recap exercise number one, you're going to do three full sets of at least eight barbell squats, eight body weight sumo squats, and 10 kneeling banded squats, followed by a minute rest with optional dynamic leg swings. Moving right along to the second exercise of this main set, we've got yet another tricep. As you can tell, I like tricets. Personally, I think they are great for hypertrophy training. For the second exercise, we're going to do the following exercises. Exercise number one in this set is eight to 10 barbell deadlifts. Standing with your feet shoulder width apart, grasp the bar with your hands just outside your legs. Lift the bar by driving your hips forward, keeping a flat back, then lower the bar under control. Exercise number two in this set is 10 to 20 square band overhead squats. With your hands and feet encapsulated in a loop band with your arms overhead, squat here. Adding the band continually keeps tension on the glute muscles, though you can do normal body weight squats instead. The third exercise in this set is 8 to 10 glute bridges. Lie face up on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Lift your hips off the ground until your knees, hips, and shoulders form a straight line. Hold your bridge position for a couple of seconds before easing back down. After completing each set, you can do optional side leg swings. So again, for exercise number two, you've got three full sets of at most 10 barbell deadlifts, 20 square band overhead squats, and 10 glute bridges, followed by a minute rest with optional dynamic side leg swings. On to the third exercise, and what do you know, it's another tricep. Go ahead and do the following three exercises to the best of your abilities. This first exercise in the set is 20 torso twists. Place your knees on the bottom pads and your chest against upper pads. Rotate at the torso to your right and then back to starting position. After you have done the amount of repetitions, adjust the machine and then rotate to the other side. The second exercise in this set is 20 reps of the crunch machine. Starting from a flexed core, push against the padded lever and bend forward at the waist. Your hips should stay in the seat at all times. Try to move in a slow, controlled manner. The third exercise in this set is 8 to 10 hanging leg raises. Lift yourself up on the mechanism so that your elbows rest on the pad with your legs hanging with a relaxed bend at the knee. Tilt your pelvis slightly forward, engage your abdominals and hip flexors to lift your feet off the ground by raising your legs outward in front of you, keeping them straight. Exhale while lifting the legs, feel the abdominal muscles working hard as you do this. That is exercise number 3. Each set is then followed by a few standing torso twists to keep the body moving and constantly distributing that blood flow to the upper and lower extremities. To recap exercise number three, you are going to do three full sets of 20 torso twists, 20 machine crunches, and eight to 20 hanging leg raises. Do them at your own pace and rest when you feel you need to. It's all about practicing the motions. Finally, we've 
just got our fourth exercise of the main set and to reward you for your hard work so far this exercise may be an optional quad set where you've got the following four exercises back to back. The first exercise in this set is 10 forward raises. Stand with feet about shoulder width apart and lift the weights upward, inhaling with the arms out in front and palms facing down. Exhale, lower the arms to start again. Next exercise in this set is side raises. Same instruction as the forward raises, but this time lift the weights up to the sides, palms also facing down. The third exercise in this set is bent over rear delt flies. Hinge at the hips from standing with a straight back and chest proud. Hang the arms shoulder width apart and drive the arms back squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. Release with the control and repeat. And the fourth and final exercise of this set are shoulder presses. You may do this standing or seated for more stability, holding a dumbbell in each hand at shoulder height with your palms facing away. Press the weights directly upwards until your arms are straight and the weights touch above your head. After doing each quad set, do some optional large circles or use a band to help keep the arms pumped and held under tension during your minute rest in between sets. To recap exercise number four of the main set, you've got 10 forward raises, side raises, and an optional rear delt fly, ending the set with 10 shoulder presses. Rest a minute between sets and keep the blood flowing with some arm circles. And of course, a workout is never fully completed without a cool down. For this cool down, we'll do these things I like to do. Where I start in a downward dog stretch and I wave roll to a plank and sometimes add a push up and then push my hips up back into down dog. I like to do this about five times. Go ahead and give it your best shot. There's no need for it to be perfect. To finish up this cool down, go ahead and do as many as you like of the following stretches. Forward folds, from standing, sweep the arms overhead high, hinge at the hips and spill forward, then roll up vertebrae at a time. Hip flexor stretches, lying on your back with knees up, lift the hips like a glute bridge and hold for as long as you like. Another variation is from a kneeling position, reach your ankles behind you and feel the front of the hips open. And then this last stretch is a seated arm stretch. Sitting down, reach the arms across on each side and hold for several seconds. And you're done! It was really good. I did a full body workout. I focused on my shoulders, my glutes, and some abs, and all of it. I did it all, and <laughs> I did a whole entire workout at the gym like a normal workout that I normally do, and I filmed it, I, I did it. Like I didn't care if people were watching because I don't give a crap anymore. After being on YouTube, it's taught me to not really give a crap anymore, but I did it. <sighs> okay, so I just got back from the gym. Let's talk about my split for a hot second. If you guys have any questions in regards to my workout plan that you would like to pick my brain about, I encourage you to reach out to me. It is understandable that bodies change throughout time and my body once looked like this and now it looks like this and this is what my body looks like after a workout. So, you know, with fitness, your body is always going to change. It is so important to talk about these changes, especially in women and especially when we live in a world of social media and are bombarded with perceptions of fitness and how to achieve the coinciding benefits. You, you can bloat sometimes and sometimes you feel great and extra toned and other days, you know, it's a low. Just know on those low days, just get back up and do you. Today was great. Uh, going back to the gym, it was my element, it was my zone, and I feel great and confident being able to do the thing that I love the most, which is, I love lifting weights, like I love going to the gym, it is like my home, honestly. 
but yeah it's important to talk about those changes and if you guys have any questions for me please leave a comment down below i definitely know how you feel if you're unconfident going to the gym like confidence we're honestly not born with it we're taught how to you know fit into society and be accepted and so like it is understandable being scared to go into the gym but if you realize that you're going in there to work on you and only you that's why i stress if you haven't watched my other videos go ahead and do so they're pretty motivational in my opinion and um yeah i highly stress that you should do things that you love and do things for you and only you because who is going to benefit from those doings it's going to be you but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i had a really great time making it and pushing myself to get out there and just do what i love and do what i've always told myself to do when i wanted to open up a youtube channel thank you so much for watching this youtube video if you liked it please be sure to let me know by liking the video by hitting that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a step of this wonderful journey and you can even comment down below your feedback good or bad feedback is feedback i want to hear it i want to hear from you like always this video is coming from my heart to yours so please all the love no hate um anyways bye <laughs>